Russia's Motovilikinsky plants, a long-standing pillar of the country's defense industry, recently showcased a series of its military developments, drawing attention not for breakthroughs but for the conspicuous absence of operational progress. Among the exhibits was the 2S-38 derivation anti-aircraft artillery complex, a system that has captured public imagination since its first unveiling in 2017 but has, by all appearances, remained largely confined to the realm of prototypes and parade displays. Built on the chassis of the BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle, the derivation was intended to modernize Russia's short-range air defense capabilities, ostensibly replacing older Soviet-era systems such as the Shilka and Tunguska. Yet more than eight years after its debut, it seems to have failed to transition from exhibition hall to battlefield, raising questions about the efficiency and strategic focus of Russian military production. The 2S-38 derivation was originally presented at the Army 2017 Forum as a highly capable anti-aircraft solution, armed with a 57mm 2A90 cannon. According to developers' claims, the system could engage aerial targets at ranges of up to 6 km and at altitudes reaching 4.5 km. The rate of fire was advertised as 120 rounds per minute, supported by a magazine of 148 shells. These specifications suggested a formidable ability to counter drones, helicopters, and other low- to mid-altitude aerial threats, positioning the derivation as a potential linchpin in Russia's layered air defense strategy. However, subsequent analysis and field observations indicate that these figures may have been more aspirational than operational. Evidence suggests that the weapon barrels were repurposed from the legacy S-60 anti-aircraft guns, implying a reliance on outdated technology rather than a fully modernized solution. This reliance on preserved Soviet components underscores the persistent challenges facing Russia's defense sector in bringing genuinely novel systems to fruition. The timing of the derivation's development also intersects with a critical moment in Russian military history. By 2022, as Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the country faced severe shortages in combat-ready chassis and vehicles. Infantry fighting vehicles and armored platforms were urgently needed to sustain frontline operations, leaving little room for experimentation or the deployment of prototype anti-aircraft systems. The 2S-38, despite its potential, was not prioritized for production or fielding. Instead, it remained on display in controlled environments, with its role increasingly symbolic rather than practical. Footage from May 2025 parades shows the vehicle prominently featured in Nizhny Novgorod, a location away from the national capital, highlighting its continued status as a ceremonial asset rather than a battlefield necessity. This phenomenon, where ambitious defense projects remain unproduced for years, has been colloquially referred to as Russia's Project Graveyard. Motovilikinsky plants exhibitions often include systems that exist only as prototypes, circulating annually at forums and parades without achieving tangible operational outcomes. Such practices raise broader questions about resource allocation, industrial efficiency, and strategic planning within the Russian military-industrial complex. While these projects may serve propaganda purposes, impressing domestic and international audiences with futuristic designs, they may also reflect systemic inefficiencies that undermine Russia's ability to modernize its armed forces effectively. Beyond the technical and logistical factors, the derivation story sheds light on the strategic realities of modern warfare. Russia's armed forces are confronting a battlefield environment where air threats have become increasingly sophisticated, particularly with the proliferation of drones, precision-guided munitions, and electronic warfare capabilities. In theory, the 2S-38's rapid-fire 57mm cannon could offer a countermeasure against such threats, but without mass production and battlefield deployment, this potential remains unrealized.
The contrast between the system's theoretical capabilities and its practical absence on the front lines illustrates a significant gap between military ambition and operational reality. Moreover, the reliance on older components, such as the S-60 gun barrels, highlights a recurring challenge in Russian defense development, the tension between modernization and legacy equipment. While repurposing existing hardware can reduce costs and speed development timelines, it may also compromise performance and reliability. In the case of the derivation, the question arises whether its claimed technical parameters can be achieved in practice, or if the system is primarily designed to impress during demonstrations. Such uncertainty has tangible consequences, as the effectiveness of air defense is critical in contemporary conflicts where unmanned systems and precision strikes can dramatically alter operational dynamics. The political dimension of the derivation's continued presence in parades should not be overlooked. Showcasing advanced military hardware serves to project strength, both domestically and internationally. For the Russian leadership, presenting a parade-ready anti-aircraft vehicle reinforces an image of technological prowess and military preparedness. Yet, this performative display may mask the underlying realities of production bottlenecks, battlefield losses, and logistical limitations. Analysts observing the Nizhny Novgorod parade noted that while the derivation appeared visually impressive, its actual contribution to Russia's combat capabilities remains minimal, highlighting the gap between perception and substance. The derivation's journey from concept to repeated exhibition also illustrates broader trends in Russian military innovation. Despite decades of investment in research and development, many systems appear to languish in prototype stages, unable to scale into operationally effective solutions. The defense sector's emphasis on showcasing technological progress, while understandable from a propaganda perspective, can obscure the urgent need for pragmatic, combat-ready platforms. In conflicts such as the ongoing war in Ukraine, where mobility, durability, and rapid deployment are critical, the inability to field advanced prototypes like the 2S38 may constrain strategic options and limit the effectiveness of air defense networks. Ultimately, the 2S38 derivation serves as a case study in the complexities of military procurement and modernization under political, logistical, and strategic pressures. While the system represents a technically ambitious attempt to replace aging Soviet-era anti-aircraft platforms, its persistence as a parade vehicle rather than a combat asset underscores systemic shortcomings in Russia's defense industry. The combination of outdated components, limited production, and prioritization of more immediately deployable platforms illustrates the difficult balancing act between innovation and operational necessity. For observers of Russian military capabilities, the derivation is a reminder that not every new weapon system translates into battlefield advantage. The derivation also offers insights into how military prestige is constructed in contemporary Russia. Parades and exhibitions function as symbolic arenas, where technological promise is communicated to both domestic audiences and foreign observers. The enduring presence of the 2S38 at these events reinforces a narrative of military modernization and technological sophistication, even if the vehicle's operational relevance is limited. This duality, where symbolism and capability diverge, exemplifies the challenges inherent in maintaining both the image and substance of military power. In conclusion, the 2S38 derivation anti-aircraft vehicle reflects a mixture of ambition, technical ingenuity, and practical limitation. Its prolonged status as a prototype, coupled with sporadic public displays, highlights both the achievements and shortcomings of Russia's defense sector. While it offers the promise of modernized air defense and rapid-fire capabilities, the lack of production and deployment underscores the persistent obstacles facing Russia in translating advanced concepts into functional, fielded systems. As military observers continue to monitor Russia's developments, 
the derivation stands as a compelling example of how technological aspirations, logistical realities, and strategic priorities intersect in shaping the capabilities of a nation's armed forces. The vehicle may be a fixture of parades and exhibitions, but its impact on the battlefield remains largely theoretical, illustrating the complex interplay between innovation, practicality, and military effectiveness in contemporary warfare.